Solana's biggest airdrop will come from the product you use every single day, and that is the famous Solana wallet known as Phantom. In the past, we've covered a Phantom airdrop tutorial, but as this is a big one we believe no one should miss, we feel the need to cover it again. So in this video, we're going to go into an in-depth airdrop tutorial for the Phantom wallet, and we will take you all step by step. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable, and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content, and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into it. All right, then, my friends, we're officially on the Phantom website, which is phantom.app. We've got the official X page, which is at Phantom. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells on because I believe very soon we're going to get a notification about an airdrop. Nonetheless, they do good tweets as well about other airdrops and everything about the Solana ecosystem, so they are a good follow on X in my personal opinion. Now, like I did mention, we have covered an airdrop tutorial on the Phantom Wallet before, around five months ago, but I think it's about time we do it again. So guys, this is going to be one of the biggest airdrops in my personal opinion. The Phantom Wallet is roughly valued at $1.2 billion. They even have airdrop indicators on their very own wallet, which to me, guys, is a green flag to an airdrop of their own. And guys, if you don't have a Phantom Wallet and you're here from scratch we actually have got a phantom wallet tutorial which shows you how to set up a phantom wallet we made this video around a year ago and it should still be of good use this is for those who don't know how to set up a phantom wallet it's very very simple and you'll do it all in under five minutes however for those who do have a phantom wallet you should have some solana assets in your wallet if you don't then obviously you're going to need some to continue with this video why because you're going to need to gather up as many transactions and as much volume as possible so guys i'm going to show you all the features that we need to focus on i'm going to show you all the best little bonus features that we can use however for those who want to understand a bit more about phantom and everything about it you can go over to their website and you can learn everything about their app when it comes to the security when it comes to the features you can even learn things about the solana ecosystem if you wish under their learn and blog page However, I'm going to assume that you already have a Phantom wallet. And what we're going to do is, guys, the first thing I want to show you right now, because there's nothing we can do on here, is the Phantom Layer 3 application. However, I personally believe that they're going to have more quests coming soon, and they could even be one of the Infinity Cube quests of Layer 3, which are live right now, and that is another airdrop for Layer 3, which I'll be covering very soon. However, we do have a Layer 3 airdrop tutorial already, but that is an out-of-date one, but we will be covering it again in the future. Nonetheless, I would recommend coming over here, guys, and following Phantom over on Layer Layer 3. As you can see, I've completed so many quests and I've also received many official Phantom and Layer 3 NFTs. As you can see, the ones tagged here. There aren't any quests active at the moment. There are many Solana quests that you can do on Layer 3, so if you want to do that, you can. And I will leave this linked in the description below. This is just something that I think you should keep an eye on because I do believe there will be more quests and it should help us qualify for both Layer 3 and the Phantom airdrop. Guys, this is not the main focus. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be spending our time in our wallet. Now, in the top right corner, I've got my Phantom wallet like I've already shown you. Here here, guys, is the little indicator of an airdrop, which I also shown you, which we did receive the parcel airdrop. I did claim and sell my portion. I'm not going to lie to you because it was dumping very hard. I might buy my way back in very soon. It is an RWA crypto gem in my personal opinion. But enough of parcel. Look at this, guys. We can even import our MetaMask accounts to do everything in our Phantom wallet instead. If you wanted to completely integrate over from MetaMask, which I personally don't do, I separate my Solana wallet to the Phantom wallet, and then I do everything else on my MetaMask wallet. However, the great thing about Phantom is that it's a multi-chain wallet, so you can either use Solana, Ethereum, or Polygon. At the moment, there aren't any other networks, but I believe that there are going to be more networks integrated in the future. I think this is a great start, but their main focus is obviously the Solana network. Work. Therefore, what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to be focusing on the Solana ecosystem. As you can see, I've got roughly $90 of Solana. I've got a roughly $100 of Solana staked with the Infinity token, which we have that on the Sanctum airdrop. And I will leave that linked in the description below because I think that is a great airdrop in the Solana ecosystem. Also, you can see all my other assets, my friends, all of which I store in my Phantom wallet. And I personally believe the more assets and the more that you use the Solana ecosystem through the Phantom wallet, the better the odds of getting an airdrop and a bigger one. Now, I personally believe that if you're setting up low of random wallets just doing random swaps just in the phantom wallet i think that you could be flagged as a cyber user which is a user that does not receive any airdrops because they are just farming the system However, if you are a legitimate user like myself, then what you are going to be doing is you're going to be using multiple decentralized applications within the Solana ecosystem. But most importantly, we're going to be focusing on the Phantom Wallet. 
So what we're going to do is guys, the first feature that we want to use is the main feature and that is the swapping feature as we can see in the middle tab of our wallet. When you get to this stage, you'll be prompted with one token at the top and it most likely will be the Solana token, the native token of the network. You can obviously do other networks such as the Polygon network or if you have assets on Ethereum, you can do that also. But like I said, we'll be focusing on Solana in this video. And as you can see, we can see all of our Solana tokens. But basically, guys, at the top token is going to be the token you are going to be selling from. But the bottom token is the token that you want to buy. Now, you want to stack up as many transactions and as much volume as possible. By volume, I mean the amount that you spend. So, for example, if I swap $10 into, say, for example, the WEN token, that would be $10 of volume and one transaction. If I then swapped another $30 into the DUPE token, that would be $40 in volume with two transactions. And you can see where I'm going with this. Now, I'm just going to show you as an example, guys. I think starting with a minimum of $50 in your wallet is a good start, I'd say, if you are someone with a smaller budget. For those with a bigger budget, then obviously do as much as you possibly can. The bigger, the better. That's what I always say. However, what we're going to do is the top token. I'm going to swap some Solana tokens as much as I possibly please. Let's just say I swap 0.09 Solana into, let's just say, the WEN token, which is a meme coin, one that I'm very fond of and one that I got an airdrop from. It's going to be roughly $14.43 and I will receive 76,359 WEN. So I'm going to click review order. It's going to tell me the fees, the provider, which is Medeora, which is also doing an airdrop. And I'll leave that linked in the description below and you can find that on our YouTube channel and it tells you the slippage, the price impact and so on. Perfect, our transactions complete and what Phantom basically do is guys, they aggregate the best prices across the best decentralized exchanges, finding you the best swap price from any single decentralized exchange within the Solana ecosystem. So as you saw, we used Medeora to swap our sold tokens into WEN. Now you can see we've got an increase in WEN. We've now got a deduction obviously in our Solana tokens and that is one swap with $15 worth of volume. Obviously guys, that is not the best way to qualify for the air drop the more volume that you do the better but this is simply just how to show you personally guys just do as many transactions and as much volume as you possibly can a day but this is not the only thing to focus on another great thing that you can do within the phantom wallet the next thing i want to show you is if you go over to the bottom left corner of your wallet and it is the little money icon you scroll down and you're going to go to solana now, once you're here, guys, we can actually stake Solana directly through our Phantom wallet. Now, we did this in the previous airdrop tutorial, but assuming that you didn't know this, we can actually stake Sol, and it is staked directly through the Phantom wallet. And as you can see, I've only got 0.03 Sol already. However, I'm going to be depositing more because I personally believe this will be an eligibility requirement or even just a multiplier for the airdrop of Phantom. Therefore, if I just go over to where it says my stake, as you can see here, I've got it with chain node. I can click add and I can either do it with chain node once again or find a different validator and obviously this time i'm going to be choosing the phantom validator it's got 476,000 soul in it already we're going to be now staking some soul there is a commission of nine percent so every time you withdraw bear in mind they are going to take nine percent of your earnings so obviously guys you're going to have to bear in mind the withdrawal fees and everything that comes with it if you do want to do this however i'm personally going to be doing it because i think the airdrop will be worth it now the more you stake obviously the bigger and the better the airdrop will be most likely anyway Obviously, this is not guaranteed and this is not confirmed, but this is my personal opinion, which I think is highly likely, especially with the Phantom Validator. This is just a very green flag for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stake around 0.0369, basically double what I've got in there already, but just with the Phantom Validator instead. So it's a give or take around five, six dollars. So I'm going to click stake. And it's going to simply stake my Solana within the validator of the Phantom Validator. So now, as you can see, my friends, we are now activating our stake with the Phantom Validator. We've already done it with Chainnode. So we've got a total of two stakes. Possibly, my friends, by staking with more validators, you could qualify yourselves for a bigger and better airdrop. So bear that in mind. If you want to stake with more validators, more than just Phantom, then be my guest. But I'm assuming the primary focus and the best one to do is obviously the Phantom Validator. Now, that is enough of the staking. Another thing that we can do is, guys, if you go over to the bottom right corner, of your little wallet it has the little world icon what you're going to do is we're now going to explore decentralized applications like i said within the solana ecosystem and we're going to go directly through the phantom wallet as you can see here we've either got apps we've got tokens we've got collections but most importantly we've got quests now you might be able to see quests that i can't see purely because i've already may have done them however we can list nfts on magic eden for diamond rewards that is a third party request from magic eden which are also doing an airdrop but obviously something else that we can do is mint a photo or video collectible through the phantom wallet app on mobile only i will get into this shortly at the end of the video guys because i personally think this could be a multiplier as well not just the quest but the phantom mobile wallet app as well from here guys what i just briefly want to show you is that we can go over to apps 
and we can just go over to many different decentralized applications within the ecosystem, either ones that are now sponsored or ones that are very popular at the moment, such as the ones that you can see. But always Jupiter Exchange seems to be trending at the moment. We've got Pump.Fun, we've got Sanctum, which I also explained earlier. We've also made a video on Sunflower Land. And guys, there are so many different protocols that you can use. So for the sake of it, the first one that we're gonna use is guys is Jupiter Exchange. Now Jupiter Exchange is doing an airdrop every single January, also known as Jupiterary. We've covered this in so many videos and this is a protocol we recommend using and so does phantom themselves so obviously guys what i would recommend doing is guys just doing a simple swap over here and i'm going to show you another way to increase your airdrop multiplier so let's just say for the sake of it we swap 0.15 sol into usdc we're now going to be qualifying for the jupiter airdrop and possibly even the phantom airdrop from this one transaction maybe it might not but Obviously, by using the Phantom wallet, we are still using it. And therefore, no matter what the app we use within the Solana ecosystem, we always need our Phantom wallet. So it could very well help us with our Phantom airdrop. So we've completed that, that swap. It was very quick. We've got $24-ish worth of USDC. Now, if we go into our Phantom wallet, this is what I want to do. Simply, guys, just to increase my transaction count and increase my volume, I'm just going to go over to the swap feature again, like I've shown you, but this time we're going to sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input the USDC token up the top, which is going to be the token I'm selling from. And as you can see, I'm going to be doing my USDC. And at the bottom, I want to do the Solana token, which is the token I want to receive. Now, I'm going to click Solana. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click max. You don't have to do max if you don't want to, but that's the amount I want to do. I want to get it all back into Seoul and I'm going to click receive. Once it's swapped my tokens, that is another transaction that is a bigger volume count. And that is exactly what we need to do to qualify for the airdrop. That's one decentralized application, guys. Another one I love to use is Sanctum. And we've covered this two times on our YouTube channel now. This is going to be a huge airdrop in my personal opinion. I will leave this linked in the description below because I honestly think this is a great one. Simply, all you can do is you can just stake your soul into any of the liquid stake tokens within the Sanctum ecosystem. The primary one is the Infinity token, which is the native token the native liquid staking token of Sanctum. So for the sake of it, guys, just to show you once again, I'm going to do 0.03 SOL, which is around $5, confirm it. And as you can see, we have now completed the transaction and our SOL has now been deposited into Infinity, which is now going to give us XP on the Sanctum Wonderland campaign. Nonetheless, this is not the primary focus of the video, guys. Phantom is. And from here, guys, if I just go over to the little world icon again in the bottom right corner and go back over to Quest, like I said earlier with the mobile phone, I'm briefly going to show you on the phone that there are other features that you can use. Now, guys, when it comes to the Phantom mobile version, I personally believe this is going to give us a bigger and better airdrop if you're using both the wallet on mobile and desktop. Why? Because there are different quests on both the mobile and the desktop version. If you import your seed phrase from your desktop over to mobile, you'll be able to complete other quests that you can't complete on desktop and if you input your seed phrase over from the mobile over to the desktop you'll be able to complete quests over on there so basically what i'm saying is guys if you are able to do both the mobile and the desktop then you'll be better off and well positioned for the phantom airdrop if you don't want to do that then obviously stick to one the one that you feel safest with the most happiest with or even the one that you can only do but guys, for those who are interested, we have so many other crypto airdrop tutorials that you can get involved with. Just like Sanctum, which we've already mentioned in our video, we've got EtherCloud, we've got SourceSniffer, Rabi Wallet, Base, DeBridge, Ionet, Chroma, Sega, XSwap, SuperStakeSoul, Zora, Dflow, Intrac, Drip, Scroll. Guys, there's so many that you can get involved with, so many that are in the Solana ecosystem and some that are not. If you're using your Phantom Wallet, you might as well get some other airdrops on the way. Well, that's what I'm doing anyway. Nothing in this video is financial advice as always, guys. Please Please, please, please be cautious when doing anything in Web3. But I appreciate you all so much. We appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And my friends, we'll see you in the next video. But we also have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies. And you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.